Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. Late last night I was approached on Twitter regarding the idea of using awesome tables to distribute and display badges uh, based on certain achievements. And so I been playing with this idea for a little bit and I've come up with the following example. Now in this video I'm not going to take you into the Google Sheet that is the engine behind all this because I want you to first get a feel for the functionality of this system. Um, so here goes. So this is an awesome table view that I've created based on a Google Sheet. It is filterable by students in my class. In this particular class there are four students and there are three total badges that can be earned. Now this number could be added or subtracted. Um, you could have as many badges as you want. Um, I'm only doing three in this case to keep it short and simple. So the columns here are students, awards, badge one, badge two, and badge three. You'll notice under the award column that the there's two types of buttons. You have a red button and a green button. Now I've set this up that if the button is red, that means achievements have been submitted already via a Google Form. Now they might not have completed all of the achievements, uh, but they have com they've done some of them. If the button is green, this is a link to a pre-filled Google Form uh, with the student name already in it. And then the teacher would simply select the achievements that have been attained um, and submit those values. So, and again, just to reiterate, this is just the teacher view. Um, I would create another table that would hide this column right here. So students would see just their name and not any other kids badges but and then their badges so I'm not going to go into that view in this video either but that is also one dimension of this uh, badging system so let's say for example student one is finally achieved badge three I can go in and click this link it'll take me to the Google form that is connected to the badges and let's say they've, they've met all of the achievements all right so the badge is only awarded if all of the achievements have been met, okay? So I could, for example, leave this at three and hit submit. And I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna refresh. And we shouldn't see any changes, right? So student one has not met the criteria to receive badge three. But I can come back and edit that existing form and select that last achievement hit submit and I can come back to my table and refresh and now student one has been awarded badge three now also notice look at student two he started with badge three so this is indicating that you can actually you don't have to do this in chronological order you could achieve these badges in any order that you want so let's move on to student three and wow, this is because it's a green button. We're submitting a brand new, um, a brand new set of achievements. So I'm going to click student three. It's going to open a Google form with student three already populated in the first question. And I'm going to say this student has achieved level two. So I can select all of these achievements that are associated with the level two badge and I'm gonna hit submit. I'm gonna go back to my awesome table. I'm gonna refresh. Now the button should turn red as it has and the student was awarded badge two. Well, say for uh, disciplinary actions, for example, what if uh, I wanted to take away a badge? Uh, well, that works in the exact same way. So say for example, student one, um, we're going to remove badge one. They need to re-earn this because of some behavior issues in the classroom. I can click on the badges next to the button and I can actually simply take away. All I would really need to do is just uncheck one box. Um, maybe one of those achievements is 
a behavioral related outcome. I can take that one away, hit submit, and I can come back and refresh. And then just like that, badge one has been removed from student one. So um, you can, this gives you a feel for how easy it is to interact with this interface. Everything can be done from the awesome table once it is set up and running. So I will come up with another video and a tutorial on how to build this, um, but I just wanted to get this out there so you can get a feel for what is possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.